Gary was an extremely prolific writer, and he intended to make this the toughest, most hard-hitting script that they would ever see in Hollywood because they were going to give him the chance to direct it. Gary DeVore's 1997 Ford Explorer was pulled from the California aqueduct late this afternoon. His skeletal remains still buckled in the driver's seat. If you did the mathematics on the odds of this, it would be astronomical. Man, there's no way in hell that he did what he did. Confused and tired. CHP investigators say it looks like an accident, but DeVore's widow is making the TV talk show rounds, calling the death suspicious. In my own mind, feel that there is a crime here. I do not feel that my husband drove off of this bridge. Someone created the perfect crime, and then the investigation is imperfect. Today, investigators were back on the scene trying to figure out how DeVore's vehicle went off the bridge above the aqueduct without damaging any road barriers. The person we thought died in a car accident actually might have been killed. When the body was pulled out of the water, private autopsy said, well, there's some confusing elements here because the, the body hasn't got any hands. He said, I'm going to make this the hardest hitting piece of material the studio has ever read. You know, when you receive a warning from a CIA and DOD contractor, back off the CIA, you're going too far with this now. I think once you start on something, you want to see it through. I'm going to go to LA. More to the point, we are going to go to LA. Good guys can do bad things to bad guys. This is a, perhaps the biggest thing we've come up with since we've come to LA. You need to quit talking about the Gary DeVore case.